Vlogmas day 11, my favorite number. I am just on my way back to Scarborough. I have lunch plans with my dad. We're gonna be going to pick my mom up from work and then we'll see what else unfolds for the rest of the day. Hope you guys had a great sleep. I was struggling to figure out how to upload yesterday's Vlogmas. I don't wanna get into it, but it was a struggle. I can't use the same programs I was using to edit before just because the video quality is just so much better that the program I was using can't handle it. So last night was a struggle. I'm glad the video is up. I hope you guys are enjoying the new audio and video. And yeah, let's get a move on. Wow, the sun is shining. You can't see it right now because I am behind a building, but the sun is shining. I can't remember the last time I saw it out and this bright, so this is exciting. I feel like it's gonna be a great day. Oh my gosh, can you see that sun shining? Wow, wow, today's gonna be a great day. I could feel it, I could feel it. The advantages of having a panoramic sunroof is that I can just look up and I see the, the beautiful clouds. Wow, oxtail, Filipino banana. What's, is that potato, Dad? Oh, papaya, mmm. Wow, that dad, that looks so good. My dad is a master chef, y'all don't know. Don't be sleeping on chef dad. Always making the best Filipino food. That's dinner. Oh, and then we got the bok choy. Wow, look how fresh and green. Wow. I'm excited, Dad. Wow, Dad, this looks so yummy. I think I need to get some cooking lessons from my dad. <laughs> what do you call this dish, Dad? It's not kare kare. It's more like laoya, but with oxtails. Yum. Oh, my old gym. How I miss my old gym. <laughs> Back at the parents' place. Waiting for everyone else to arrive. I'm getting hungry. Hi, Tyler. Hi. This is the final product. This is the final product. You want to wow, Dad. Great job. Is, but that's what it looks like. Mm. 
What about where are you going? Where did you go? Where's Tyler? Boo! <laughs> Say it again. My kids. Bye. 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 <laughs> Alright guys, so before I end off today's vlog, I just wanted to quickly speak about something that's been on my heart and in my mind on and off throughout the day. And that is the increase in internet trolls and scammers not just here on YouTube, but also on Instagram, especially in like the spiritual and tarot community. Um, I've just been seeing even some of my friends that I've made online having their pages scammed, which is just mind boggling that there are so many people out there who have made it their job to study our profiles, pay attention to our followers, how we structure our posts um, in an attempt to bootleg and mimic our profiles so that they can then go out there and solicit money from other people who have no idea that this is not who they are. It's pretty wild and you know, knock on wood, thankfully I am not one of those people, but what I am a victim of is internet trolling and internet bullying and what I will say is I understand that when we choose to share parts of ourselves or parts of our lives, um, we will not always be everybody's cup of tea. Uh, not everyone will like us. And sometimes whatever you say or do or your experiences may be triggering for, uh, from, triggering for other people, which may sometimes make others act out in such a way. And unfortunately, you become the target of whatever that person needs to heal inside themselves, AKA, how they act and what they say is only a, ref a reflection of what they're going through. And although my mind knows that, um, my heart still sometimes struggles with accepting that and letting things roll off my shoulder and not affect my heart or my motivation to keep posting and creating content. And I don't speak about this frequently. I have one time on Instagram like over a year ago, uh, because someone went ham on me. Um, how, and, and ever since then, I've made it a point to just work on letting things roll off my shoulder and accept that this is God or the universe's way of helping me have thicker skin and to just surrender that which I cannot control. Because let's face it, we can't control other people's reactions to the things that we like, the things that we say, the things that we do. We can only control our reactions to these things. Now today, triggered the fuck out of me. Um, which, again, I get a hater comment or a troll comment on Instagram and on YouTube almost once a week. I just don't post about it and I don't talk about it because I don't want to give it energy. Um, but they're usually bots or random women that I don't know. Today, however, I got a troll comment from a guy, which I know it shouldn't matter, but for some reason it really triggered me. And it's pointing to this past trauma that I have with a particular type of men or man. And I, again, this is like a very loose generalization based on my personal lived experience that I have had specific interactions with people that are very toxic, narcissistic, bad vibes, bad energy. And this person's trolling today really reminded me of these people that I have actively cut out of my life because of those specific reasons. Um, so I did address the troll who then took the time to reply back to me. And, and I will totally admit that I replied back and then blocked that person's ass. Um, and my point is this, in replying back, I was not rude. I did not match their energy. All I did was simply state my truth, which is I will not stoop down to your level and I'm not the one who took the time to reach out and leave hateful, mean comments to strangers. And I think Honestly, I know it happens not just to me, but it happens to the best of us. Um, I guess all I want to do is say, as a reminder to everyone, don't dim your light because someone out there is either threatened by what you're doing or is triggered 
by who you are, what you are, what you stand for, what you posted, whatever your light is, continue to shine as bright as you can because you're not living your life for other people. You're living your life for you. And as a human, even though I was deeply triggered, at the same time, I'm proud of myself for my classy response and learning how to click that block button. Um, I'm the type of person who always wants to try to meet people halfway. I'm always looking, try, looking to try to reconcile situations and looking to try to find like resolutions to things. But you know what? 2022 is less than a month away. We have to do better at severing ties with people who don't serve us and people who, um, people who try to dim our shine, people who try to make us into inauthentic beings. Um, stay away from that. No one has time for bad mind, bad vibe energy. Uh, that's an energy vampire and they exist everywhere. They can exist in internet trolls. They can exist in strangers you've never met. They can even exist within your own circles. But, you know, have your radar up and pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to how you feel. And if the person is draining your energy, believe me, you are better off just cutting that person off instead of trying to write an essay explanation as to why you're right and they're wrong. It is not even worth it. It is not worth it. Take all that energy back and keep it for yourself and cut that person off, whether it's a stranger or someone you know. And that is my quick PSA. <laughs> Honestly, I pray for the people who make it a point to go out spreading negativity and hate. I think there's just so much of that out in the world already. And that's not what I'm about at all. All I'm doing through my vlogs and through my tarot videos is following my passion and using my platform, which is not even that big of a platform. Like, let's be real, guys. <laughs> let's be real. I create these videos because it makes me happy. And I like knowing that I have a video diary out there. So years from now, I can look back at this time in my life and relive these moments where my parents are the ages that they're at. My nephew is st like who he is at this moment. He's growing so fast every freaking weekend. It's like I'm looking at a different child. So... I want to savor these moments. I want to be able to relive these memories. I'm not living my life for any other person. And I encourage you all to treat it the same way. Treat your life like you are the main character. You do not have to dim your shine for people who don't matter. And that's it. That's it! <laughs> oh man, it's been an interesting day. Anyway, for all of you who did reach out via Instagram DM, uh, yeah, I really appreciate you guys. You know who you are. So many of you reached out when I posted that on my story just because, damn, like, another one? <laughs> they just seem to be coming out of the woodwork recently, but I must be doing something, right? <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys had an awesome, awesome day, and I will catch you all tomorrow. I'm going to Casa Loma tomorrow, so make sure you guys have your notification bell on because these vlogs are coming out every single day and this coming week is going to be a really, really great week. So take care, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.